Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Weaponized Cat. I'm your host, Danny. Today we're going to talk about user interface customization. We have a previous video on the user interface itself. This is how to get it to look a way that's more comfortable for you. It's going to be a quick video. It's going to be how to get into the commands to get to the user interface, to actually customize it to the way that you want to see it, how to set up toolbars, how to dock menus. To begin the user interface customization, I want you to type CUI, that's Cat Unicorn Igloo. It's gonna bring up the customize user interface menu. Now, when you first open the menu, it's probably going to look like this. And this is not very useful. So down here in the lower right hand corner of the menu is an arrow. Click that arrow and you're going to have a lot more to see. Now, up here at the top, customizations in all files, you're going to want to click that so the arrows are pointing up. Arrows down, closed, arrows up, open. So now what we're looking at is all of the customization files within AutoCAD. When Autodesk released this in a version, I believe a decade ago, Everybody panicked because no one was used to seeing this. It was super complex. There was no warning. So I'm going to step you through this very quickly. Under the ACAD and under workspaces, you're going to see a workspace that says current in parentheses. If you don't, right click on one of these and hit set current. In my case, I had already previously set up drafting and annotation as my default, which is the default that ships with AutoCAD. It should be set to current. There are cases where things get changed around and there's no workspace saved. The workspaces are also up here, drafting and annotation, and also down here, this gear symbol, same thing. So what we wanna do is we wanna customize our our ribbon area a little bit i'm not going to actually customize the ribbon itself and add anything to it because the ribbon itself is pretty good the way it is but what i do want to do is give myself a couple of quick access toolbars so what we're going to do is we're going to click over here in workspace contents we're going to click customize workspace and you're going to notice that everything underneath the workspace contents turns blue that means that we are we are actively editing this current workspace so let's say I wanted to add the layers. So right now the layers are in your home tab, but you're not always in your home tab. And you might be doing something that you don't want to click out of to get to your layers. What we're going to do is over here in the upper left hand panel, we're going to go to toolbars and we're going to click the plus to expand it. Now you're, you're going to notice that there are a ton of toolbars in here and it only gets worse the further down you go. There's actually more toolbars under partial customization files. We're not gonna mess with that right now because anything that's in there is already up at the top. Right now we wanna add layers. We're gonna click the empty box next to layers and it's gonna give us a check. Now you're gonna notice that the toolbars section over in the workspace contents in blue is now displaying layers under toolbars. The other thing that we're gonna want is properties. Now, if you're not sure what a toolbar is, if you don't have any toolbars open, once you check these boxes, if you go down here and you click apply, it's actually going to insert the toolbars into your AutoCAD window. So here's the layers toolbar and here's the properties toolbar. So just like the other menus that I've described, there's a series of teeny tiny dots on the left hand side of a toolbar. That means that you can grab it and you can actually dock it. This is called docking. If I were to pull both of these toolbars out, you're gonna notice that the bar that the toolbars were attached to is now gone. If I were to grab the dots and pull it up slowly, you're gonna, you're gonna watch it kinda jump. When it jumps, that means that it can dock. And the same thing goes for the left and right side and the bottom. It's gonna, it's gonna expand the area for the toolbar and you're gonna lose a little bit of drawing space, which is okay because it's not a ton of space that it's taking up. 
The left and the right toolbars are a little harder to get. So we're going to ignore those for now. It's just not, it's, it, sometimes it likes it, sometimes it doesn't. In this case, it does not. So I've checked the properties. I've checked the layers. The other thing that I want to check is viewports. And what I'm doing right now is I'm setting this up the way that I have my AutoCAD set up. I have my Civil 3D set up. I have my Map 3D set up. A lot of people turn on toolbars all over the place. If you're starting from scratch, use what AutoCAD has given you and then expand from there. If you were to go crazy and turn all these toolbars on, click every single one of these checkboxes, there are going to be toolbars all over the screen and it's going to take you an hour to find places for them. And then it's going to take you another hour to figure out what every single little button does. So less is more in this case. I've turned on my viewports toolbar. I'm going to click apply. It's going to pop it out right here. I'm going to click and drag it. And I'm going to put it right up there next to my layers, my properties, and my viewports. Now when I'm done in here, all I'm going to do is click done. And, then, and that's it. We essentially opened our drafting and annotation default workspace. We added three toolbars. And by clicking done, we saved it. And then at this point, if you haven't already hit apply to get your toolbars up, you can hit apply and then hit OK. So now I have layer command here, which we haven't discussed yet. We're going to get to that. And layer properties right there on the toolbar. Now, yes, the layers are here and the layer properties are here. But if you're working over in the manage tab or the annotate tab, they're not up there anymore. And you, it's, it's much more efficient to have your layers and your layer properties available all the time. So in some cases, yes, you can be doing something and then click back up on the home tab and then go and change your layer. But it's actually a lot faster to just have them right at your, right at the, at your left click. Viewports we haven't gotten into yet. Keep that one open. It's going to come up and it's going to be, it's going to be a, a big video. This one's going to be a quick video, like I said, because we're not modifying everything. We're just adding a couple little things to make your, your experience better. In a previous video, I also told you that the, the dots on the far left side of your dockable menus, dockable toolbars, windows, do the same thing with the command line if you haven't already. And like I said before, I actually like to have three lines. So I have my command line and then I have my previous two commands. In this case, I don't have any commands run. Well, now that I windowed something, it's actually populating my command line. Remember that if you need to see something further back than the three that are down here, you can either drag this way up or you can press F2 to see everything that I've done. Another thing I want to show you is the properties window. The properties window is found under the view tab. And in the view tab, this is all of the things that, that can be docked to the sides. There's a couple things that are just individual menus that can't be docked. But in the view tab is where you're going to find the more useful dockable menus. In here, in the palettes, we have our properties. When you click properties, you're going to notice this big menu that pops out. Now, you can drag this anywhere you want, and you can make this auto hide by right clicking in the bar on the side. So you see where it says properties? If you right click in this darker bar, you get a couple of options in here. Auto hide should be automatically checked, not always. Make sure that's checked if you don't want it in the way. Another thing that you can do is you can click allow docking. Now, allow docking lets you anchor to the left and the right. So if I uncheck allow docking and I rewrite click, anchor left, anchor right are grayed out. If I check allow docking and then right click again and hit anchor left, you notice that the properties jumps over to the left hand side of the screen. And when I mouse over it, I'm not clicking anything, it automatically opens the properties window. And then when I mouse away from it, the properties window closes. If you want to keep it open all the time, underneath the close is the auto hide button. 
you can click that. And what it's going to do is it's going to kind of flash because it's shifting the way that the, the menu is presenting itself. So before the properties bar was down the left hand side of the screen. When you dock the menu, it moves the bar to the top. So I pulled it away, the bar is now on the left. If I pull it back over here, just like the toolbars, you're gonna notice it kind of switches. And that implies that it's trying to dock itself. So for me, I don't like having this open all the time. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to uncheck allow docking, which is gonna jump this menu out into space. And I'm gonna pull it back over. Now when you get close to the edges of the screen, Watch what happens. It becomes magnetic to the screen. Now, in order to get it to the right-hand side of the screen, you actually have to turn Allow Docking on. You have to right-click again. You have to hit Anchor Right. Anchor Right is going to anchor it to the right-hand side of the screen. Then if you pull it away, you're going to notice that the Properties bar is now on the right-hand side of the menu. And for some reason, if you have it anchored to the left, it might not want to anchor to the right. But if you have it anchored to the right, using the right click menu, anchor right, it will let you anchor to both. So I'm dragging it way over and it, and it flashes because it wants to anchor. If I drag it all the way back, it's going to flash because it wants to anchor. So even though I had it anchored right and the properties bar is on the right hand side of the menu, I can still anchor it to the left. I'm going to pull it away again. I'm going to right click. I'm going to uncheck allow docking because I do want it on my left side. These menus can be expanded and contracted. You can go way out if you want to. You can go way in. You don't want to go too far in though because then you won't be able to read any of the, any of the, the header information. So in my case, I'm going to tighten this guy up. I have it set to auto hide. Oh, I don't have it set to auto hide. Set to auto hide. Now my properties window is available whenever I need it. I don't have to type PR on the command line, which brings up the properties window. If the properties window is already open, PR is just going to flash it. And it's like, hey, properties are already over here, buddy. Pay attention. Properties are going to come into play when we actually start drawing things. There's all kinds of information that's gonna be in here. So currently it says no selection, but it's giving me the general information of an object. But these are the basics that are in here. So the color of the object, the layer that it's on, the line type, line type scale, line weight, transparency and thickness. 3D visualization is sometimes used. We might use this when we get to the 3D design. So typically I hit this arrow here, tighten that up because I don't need to see it. Plot style, not super important while you're drafting, while you're drawing. Close that one too. View is good because it's giving you information on the actual object. The center of the X, Y, Z, the height and the width. Miscellaneous is giving us annotation scale. UCS icon, which we haven't really covered yet. That's actually this guy down here. Our X, Y coordinates. UCS per viewport, UCS name, and the visual style, which we covered up here. Same thing, 2D wireframe, you click on that, you can get to all your different visual styles. To recap, this is the basic view of what my AutoCAD looks like when I'm working, whether I'm 3D modeling, whether I'm working on, on a site plan, whether I'm designing a storm network or a sanitary network both of which are in Civil 3D, not in standard AutoCAD. But the idea is the same. My menu is very tight. I have plenty of space to work. Everything is where I need it to be. And as you go, you're going to realize, well, I'm working on the right-hand side of the screen more than I'm working on the left-hand side of the screen. I might be working on the bottom or the top. Or if I moved this over here, it'd be more efficient based on the methods that you develop over time in using the software. I'm not saying you have to set it up exactly like this. This is the way that I set it up. One last thing, once you have one toolbar up here and you get this lighter gray bar 
in between the ribbon itself and the darker bar that's giving us our open drawings, you can actually right click on that bar and get to all the different toolbars. So instead of having to go into the customized user interface, once you have one toolbar available, you can go in here and you can check and uncheck to your heart's desire. So just to give you an example, I'll check the draw. And what it actually did is the draw toolbar docks to the left hand side of the screen. So it threw it over there under my properties window. I'm not going to keep this open. The draw toolbar is pretty much everything that's in here. It also includes hatches, a little bit of text, and add selected, which I've never personally used. So play around with this a little bit. Go in, make sure you go into your CUI command first, CUI on the keyboard. Make sure you go in here, make sure you select your current workspace, make sure you customize your workspace, and if you're not real sure what toolbars you want, just add one. Just hit expand the toolbars, and just add smooth mesh. Just the one right at the top. Click apply, click OK, or I'm sorry, actually apply and OK actually recognizes the fact that you're done because you're clicking OK to get out, and it will save whatever you've added. So this done is just kind of a feel good button. Honestly, apply and OK will auto check the done button and save your current workspace. And that's pretty much it. That's how you get into the customized user interface. That's how you open your properties window. That's where you find your properties window. That's how you get some toolbars set up for yourself. And that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one.